Good morning. I'm on my mountain again and I'm here today to talk about leadership and perseverance. You've probably figured out that not everyone will be interested in green organics, no matter how phenomenal it is. People have their preconceived ideas and feel very passionate about them and sometimes you'll come under their fire because they have made a snap judgment. Don't let their ignorance and comments of what you're offering them upset you. But having said that, I also know it's really difficult to do that. You want to know one of the things you'll have to learn as you run your business? How to have thick skin. Now let me share with you some of the things I've learned during the 15 years I've been in this industry as a rep, trainer, and business owner. Number one, no matter what you do, somebody isn't going to like it. You may have a fantasy idea that you can make everyone happy. You can't. You may get dozens of emails every day from people who love you, green organics, and what you're doing for them. Enjoy and treasure every one of them. Eventually, however, you will hear from someone who is unhappy, hates what you're doing, or just has an axe to grind. No matter what you do or how you lead your team, someone isn't going to like it. Now, every single one hurts, but you can learn to feel the hurt and then let it go focusing instead on all the people who are happy. And number two, you ultimately have to know your own heart. You know, one of the joys of leadership is that you get to call the shots. One of the challenges of leadership is the same thing. <laughs> you get to call the shots. When you're the one calling the shots, you can't pass off the responsibility to someone else. You have to claim it yourself, meaning that you become the target of attacks. You have to know your own heart. You have to know you're coming from a good place that only wants the best for people and that you truly just want to help people create financial freedom through green organics. No one is perfect, including you. But if your heart is in the right place, that can carry you through a lot. Okay, number three, give yourself grace to make mistakes. Trust me, you are going to make mistakes. I don't care how much you try to think through every aspect of something, you're going to make judgment errors and wish you had done things differently with your green organics business and your team. Now, I know you wish you could do everything perfectly. The problem is, you're just a human being. You will make decisions from what you think is the best information at the time, only to find that circumstances change or maybe you just didn't really dig far enough to have the best information. It's okay, you'll learn from it. You won't make the same mistake again, or at least a lot of times. The thing that absolutely won't help is to beat yourself up over it. All you do is paralyze yourself and you focus on the mistake instead of focusing on what's coming next and how you can do things better. Give yourself grace to make mistakes. You know, I told you at the beginning of this that I was going to tell you how to have thick skin. The truth is, I hope you don't. After years in this industry, I'm glad to say I don't have thick skin. And I truly hope I never do. I would rather be hurt from people's attacks than become impervious and hard. I've got hundreds of emails saved from people who are excited about what I've done for them. I read them when I need to. Sometimes I get up and walk away knowing I need some space to keep perspective and to keep pushing forward. Yeah, I might cry a little. I might work out a little harder. I might come up on my mountain to release my emotions. I might call a friend. Once I've taken some deep breaths, I come back and I dig in again, committed to creating ultimate success for everyone who desperately wants and needs it. And then number four, accept people as human beings. You know, most of the people attacking you are angry, hurting, or fearful. They aren't attacking you as much as they are coming from a place of fear or misdirected anger. They are angry with their own lives or they are fearful of what will happen with them. You become an easy target because you are a leader. Now here's what I do when I get one of those letters. I allow myself to feel the hurt. I say I forgive you out loud and then I pray for those people asking for great blessings to pour into their lives. It doesn't matter what faith you adhere to. This is a universal principle. It helps the most because I don't carry any anger and pain in myself. I release it back to the universe and I keep trying to help people. 
And then there's number five, look for the kernels of truth. You know, I've learned that while I may hate the way someone communicates, I sometimes find a kernel of truth in what they are saying that can help me either be a better person or build a better business. Hey, not everybody knows how to be diplomatic. I could shut out anything they say because they're being a jerk, or I can feel my feelings, forgive them, and then come back to the letter or the communication to see if there's something I can learn. And many times I do. So there are the lessons I've learned. I hope all of you who are leaders or emerging leaders benefit from them. Go out, build your business, have an ultimate day.